my heart and hope to die Welcome to my dark side This is Baron the Bear. It's going to be another video for the mobile game Viking Rise. And this is going to be about the law of the jungle. It's going to be a basics video. Uh, I'm going to cover the rules a little bit here and the rewards and then the shop. And I will also give recommendations on heroes to use as a free player. And then uh, this should be very helpful to you. So I would recommend watching this video all the way through. This is one of those videos I recommend to watch. But please make sure you like and subscribe hit that bell notification for future content if you like my content because i'm gonna be making some more videos here soon so we're gonna get into this we're gonna go into the rules I'm not gonna go over this too much just gonna give you some a heads up and what to expect if you're new to this game which a lot of people are uh you have to be chief hall of level 11 to be able to enter this event of the law of the jungle so make sure you, you know that uh, it will give you a brief explanation of everything here. Uh, there is some additional details I want to go over here. Uh, tribe skills, tribe tech, tribe titles, personal tech, city skins, city buildings, and item buffs will not take effect in this event. Okay, so any type of tech you have or whatnot, will only thing that will, uh, will matter in this is going to be your heroes that you use. Okay, their talents their skills, the levels, and all that you have, all that is what's going to dictate what uh, what bonuses you get when you do this event. So there is a pay-to-win aspect to this game, unfortunately. As of now, there is no actual matchmaking that with power levels or whatnot, so they might implement that in the future, but as right now, there isn't. So it's very important to just do the best that you can and play this as much as you can to get the full rewards because at the end of the video i'm going to go over the shop and i'm going to tell you why you need to do this event and why it's important to get all the points possible so very important to watch the end of that video of this video we're going to go into special content you're going to have the equipment okay i know some people are saying don't attack the mobs on the map um, but I do recommend that you do attack the mobs on that map in the beginning, especially in the very beginning, because it's going to give you an edge in the long run, because the more items you find from I, mo mo monsters you attack on the map, the better gear you're going to have on your two heroes, the stronger you're going to be when you attack when you actually run across players okay so the strategy would be is to make sure to attack a bunch of different mobs and avoid players in the very beginning and then get die from a mob okay get a monster to attack you and have it kill you then respawn and then you'll have three or four or whatever gear you can get from those monsters you killed and then go out and attack other players okay and also the ruins uh you can pick up the orange ruins are probably going to be the best and it depending on what type of troops you have so if you're using archers you want to be picking up a lot of stuff that has archers including the equipment another good tip is if you get some pve player versus an environment gear in the beginning you can use that to attack the mobs in the beginning and then as you find other items from those drops from those monsters you can equip that and replace your pve with more of pvp type of gear make sure that you find gear that has speed if you have gear that makes you faster you can outrun your enemy your other players that try to attack you and you won't get killed by them okay now we're going to go over the scroll effects that these you pick up when you're you find on the map and uh, you're going to get more familiar with these the more you uh, play this event so you'll be able to recognize them by their images but the special content is a great way to check on these to see what you know what which ones you might want i will go over some of these here the march speed urgency one here this one's great for trying to get away from an enemy player that's trying to attack you and you're low on health and then uh, random teleport this is a great to use to instantly teleport out of danger if you're about ready to die. That way you don't give free points to any anyone. And then once you're low on health and you get away from those players, you can get killed by a monster on the map and then respawn without giving any points away. So these two right here are probably going to be the ones I would recommend getting. 
Uh, invisibility, this is a great way to, to ambush someone. Uh, for 15 seconds, you can cast this, and then you'll be invisible for 15 seconds. So what you could do is use this and then follow someone to where they start attack a mob or on the map or something and you can actually what they call creep jack them and uh basically attack them as they're attacking someone else or mob monsters on the map i recommend the berserker it gives a 30 percent increased attack damage Earth Shattering is another good one. Emergency Treatment, that's okay. It heals you up a little bit, but I just, I didn't really think that, that that's really helpful in my opinion. Okay, now we're going to go to the map overview. Now, I'm going to, here's what I recommend. If you're, if you spawn in the very bottom left, okay. Now, if you want to, now, it, this depends on people can play this how they want to, but if you're wanting to go and attack players right in the beginning of these matches, my best advice is from the bottom left, work your way all the way across to the bottom right side you'll be more likely to run across another player faster doing it, that strategy uh, if you're wanting to do the attack the, the monsters on the map to get some items or whatnot first and then get killed by them and then respawn and go out and attack players my recommendation would be from the bottom of the map go up to the very top left of the map by the time you get to the top of that map you'll run across more monsters and whatnot to attack on that on the map before you even get to players okay another great strategy is if you're about ready to die and you run across the player and you're try to keep since you spawned on the lower left try to keep in that area most of the time so if you run into a problem you're going to die you can always run back to your spawn area and then attack that player try to get them down at least a quarter of their health and if they do kill you you respawn in a few seconds and then you can attack them and kill them and get your get even more points back so instead of just losing your points to an enemy player you can you know get those get get points back by killing them after they kill you we're going to go to the rewards it's important these are the daily rewards this is a two-day event right now you make sure you want to get these okay i already got uh 6500 points i'm going to claim those make sure you do these every day okay they reset on every reset so make sure you do the, if you don't have time the first day get at least the daily stuff the cumulative rewards you can see if you get first place one time, three times, and five times, there's 86,000 points for five times, 48,000, 26,000 for one. You get the most points by winning up to five matches. So it's very important to win for during this two days of this event to win five times. Okay, I can't emphasize that enough. Now we're going to go into what I recommend heroes wise and i'll give some explanation why i recommend this this is for free players now i'm going to go over briefly for the the spenders so you know who you're going to run across okay the spenders are going to be yvette because she does pikeman and laird he's in the dailies okay so these are the two heroes you're going to probably most run across for the spenders and during this law of jungle event and they're going to be using pikemen okay so if you want to counter pikemen in this event you want to go to any of barracks and go to info on the top left and then you're going to hit that little right top right that little symbol icon and it's going to show you archers are stronger than pikemen okay so and pikemen are stronger than infantry and infantry are stronger than archers so if you're going to be running across a lot of players that are playing with pikemen you might want to consider using archer troops and i'll show you how you can adjust that right here go back to the law of the jungle event we're going to hit go okay if you want to adjust the heroes and your troops you have to actually press on one okay it's going to open up some over to the right, left, right side, it's going to have archers. It's going to have infantry, pikemen, archers, and then these are your porters. But I don't know why they even have this in here. In my opinion, this shouldn't even be in here because the other three are, are way stronger than these. So I don't know why they even got that in here. But if you, I would recommend trying to use bow hunters. Okay, and then that should counter people using pikemen, which is going to, is going to be a lot of them doing that. So. Okay, now we're going to go back into the heroes, and I'm going to show you why I recommend the heroes I'm going to recommend. These are free players. 
Okay, he is a leader and a polymath. He is good for all different types of uh, types of troops. So you could use, you know, infantry, pikemen, and archers. So if you're going to use archers, then you're in good shape with him. Deals one instance direct damage factor 400 up to three targets when they're in range. Now he's going to be a good hero overall. I'm going to make another video about. The, the top four or so heroes for this game for free to play he's the top one in my opinion so if you're a free player you can't go wrong with either so the point i'm gonna make is you're gonna hit upgrade okay this is a great tip right here guys upgrade all right as you can see uh you know damage factor of 400 all right from the beginning all right we're gonna hit tap to fill all right as you can see it goes up to 460 we're going to hit tap to fill again. It's going to go up to, to level 3, 520. Increases troop attack 6% for 3 seconds. So he's even boosting that. We're going to tap it again. The 4, 580 points. Tap it again, 700 points. Tap it again, 760, 820, 880, and 10. 940. So you think about that. Deals one instance of direct damage. Okay, as soon as his rage builds up to unleash this skill, if you had this, his first level one skill to 10, it's going to over double the damage when that rage attack happens. And then the second here I recommend for the Law of Jungle is going to be Cecilia. Now you might be thinking, okay, why why not use Olena because she's with four archers? Well, the reason why you want to use Cecilia is you go to her talent. She's easier, in my opinion, to get shards for and to level her over her up than than Olena. So as you look right here, if you get her first talent all the way up to level five, it increases deployed troop basic attack damage by 15% no matter what type of troop it is okay if it's infantry pikemen archers they get the 15% so as you can see if you're going to use archers you get this first skill at maximum five you're going to get 15% increased damage to your archers against pikemen so yeah this is going to be the best in my opinion this combo okay, then we're going to go to the very bottom left the top icon or click that and you're going to see, we're going to hit recommend the lineup more. And Ivor Sia. You click the third skill. Fearless is what they recommend to use for Ivor. Any momentum for Sia. So if you got those two skills, make sure you put them in them. And those two heroes. Okay, now we're going to go into the shop. You're going to see that you can get 13,000 points for each shard for Ivana. She is the next hero you want to work on besides Ivor as far as for later game, okay? Because she's going to be the rally leader for you in late game, and you're going to be using Ivor. So those two heroes are definitely going to be good for free-to-play players, but it's going to take you a lot of time to build her up. So I want to stress that point. I would save all of your points and just focus on getting... Uh, Ivana shards because it could get very hard later on during this event to keep winning. You might not get, be able to get as many points in the future. I'm not sure what, how it's going to be in the future. You know, this is a new game. Nobody knows how difficult it's going to be for a free player to keep winning points. So you might want to save them every. You, you can keep your points, and I would just recommend using for Ivana. Now, if you want to work on being an archer as with Ivor, you know. Uh, because Ivor is good for, you know, all different types of troops. You could maybe buy some of uh, Elena shards. At least get her to where you unlock her. You need 10, I think, 10 of these shards to unlock her. So you could at least get 10 of the shards and to unlock her and then use your universal epic shards to boost her up and get her strong with Ivor and then use Ivor and Alina and go into the Law of Jungle and fight. That could be an option. Or you could just keep with uh, Cecilia with Ivor. But anyway, this is Baron of Bear. I hope this video helped. Please like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification for future content. And I'll talk to you guys later. But remember, we got to feed the bear. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.